Drivers behind the lines. Three, two, one, go. And the autonomous period starts. Both the Red Alliance and the Blue Alliance have multiple robots getting out of their area. That should be worth points. Red Alliance, Team 8, tries to get on the charge station. On the Blue Alliance, Team 192, GRT is able to balance itself on, on the charge station. That will be worth some great points. The teleop period starts. Both teams are grabbing game pieces to put in their respective grids. Remember, three game pieces in a row on either the top, middle, or lower tier will be worth what we call the link, and that will be worth points. Teammate, the polybot, poly robotics seems to be. Oh, there it goes. I thought it was stuck on, on the charge station. Team 192, GRT, is placing game pieces in its alliance. It finds the shortest way back out onto the field is over the charge station. Oh, okay. both, both of the Red Alliance teams Grab more game pieces. And Team 4499, the Highlanders, deftly places a cone on the top tier of its grid. Team 6400, the Manhattan Project. Team 192 of the Blue Alliance, both seem to be stuck. As does Team 132. All three members of the Blue Alliance seem to be and suspended animation. Right now, the only two active robots on the field are 4499, the Highlanders, and 4068, Barbotics. But those two teams have managed to put a large number of game pieces into their respective grids. As the game time winds down, the Highlanders and Barbotics both attempt to get onto the charge station. Barebotics is successfully there with the charge station balanced. And as the time runs out, Red has a commanding lead, but we'll have to see what the final tally is. Red Alliance is able to score many points in the grid. Both teams were able to score with some of the charge station. That will be worth two ranking points for each member of the Red Alliance.